picturesque Diamond Head and the view from world famous Waikiki Beach just steps away from Ohio basketball's Hawaii hotel home for the 2014 Diamond Head Classic. Beautiful, isn't it? Happy holidays. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Welcome to our special tournament preview presented by Don Wood Toyota of Athens. This is the third trip for Ohio basketball to the islands. The Cats were here in 1999 at the Rainbow Classic. Ohio went one and two then, losing to Wake Forest in double overtime and beating Bradley. The Cats returned in 2007 to that same tournament and went two and one, slipping past St. John's and beating Louisiana Lafayette. There certainly needs to be a balance of basketball and fun. Bean Willis and the Bobcats are certainly aware. Of course, it's a great experience. You know, this is my first time ever coming to Hawaii. So, you know, I'm looking forward to winning a couple games and, 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 and going to the beach. It's, a, it's good to get away, you know, and get some things off your mind and be able to be just with your team, you know, all day. So I think that's big with bonding, and I think that's going to help us a lot later on in the season. It's a good tournament field with seven other teams, and all those other schools have designs on taking a trophy back with them on the plane next Thursday. So this will make the Bobcats better, and hopefully they're the ones standing tall in the end. I mean, as a basketball player, you want to compete against the best, always. I mean, if you want to be the best, so I'm, I'm excited. You know, some great teams, uh, some great competition, and, and, and we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to fight hard. So let's take a look at the rest of the field. Ohio's first opponents, the George Washington Colonials out of the Atlantic 10. They had 24 wins last year. They're picked near the top of that league again. They lost to Memphis in the first game of the NCAA tournament last year. They bring balance to the table and a couple of the top returning scores, rebounders and assist men from that league to this team this year. Ohio will have to be mindful of Patricio Garino, Kevin Larson and Joe McDonald. Garino was one of the leading scorers in their league last year. Larson, one of the top rebounders and McDonald was the top returning assist man from last year. They recently lost to Penn State on Sunday, but they beat DePaul in the game prior to that. The Blue Demons are also in this field. So Ohio will see either DePaul or Colorado in the second game on Tuesday. The Blue Demons out of the Big East, out of Chicago, they've had just 48 wins in Oliver Purnell's four plus seasons there. This is a program that's been known nationally. They're no strangers to the NCAA tournament, big games, or having big players or big coaches in their program. You might remember Mark Aguirre, Quentin Richardson, and coaches Joe Meyer and Ray Meyer. Defense has been an issue for the Demons last year and this year too. They allowed 48% shooting all told last season and 51% shooting in Big East games. They did have the Big East's Rookie of the Year guard Billy Garrett Jr. They recently lost to George Washington, Illinois State and to Oregon State. That loss to the Beavers was in Corvallis on Thursday night on their way out to the islands. For the Colorado Buffaloes, the rallying cry isn't the 90-plus wins that they've had under Tad Boyle as their head coach. Nope, the 77-48 loss that they took in the NCAA tournament last year to Pittsburgh. They taped up that score everywhere, all over their complex, all over their arena to get them ready for this season, and most certainly it's paid off. They're having a good start to the year. They're picked near the top of the Pac-12, and they're a top 25 type program and team. A ski of Booker is a do-it-all sort of guard on the offensive and defensive end, and big man Josh Scott could be their next NBA player. There are a couple of links between Ohio's program and Nebraska's program. The Big Red are here, and you'll remember Danny Nee, who led Ohio to two NCAA tournaments in the 80s. He guided the Huskers to all but two of NU's NCAA tournament trips. Also, Tim Miles, their very likable and social media savvy head coach, is good friends with Saul Phillips. Of course, Tim was a head coach at North Dakota State when Saul was an assistant there. Tim went on to Colorado State, and he took the Huskers to their first NCAA tournament last year since 1998. They had 19 wins. They lost to Baylor in their first game. It really wasn't that great of a matchup. They've had a tough start to the season, probably expected more wins. They lost to Creighton and Incarnate Word, but they reeled back to win in multiple overtimes over Cincinnati. Teran Petaway is a big time player. He led the Big Ten in scoring last year. Siobhan Shields can stretch the defense. The Huskers will be there in the end, fighting for possibly a Big Ten title. The Huskers take on the host Rainbow Warriors of Hawaii. The last time they went to the NCAA tournament was back in 2007. They did have a 20-win campaign 
last year. Benji Taylor has an interim tag on him as a head coach, but he has the bows pointed in the right direction in their second year in the Big West Conference. There won't be a lot of folks at all of these games. The crowds will be good. However, when Hawaii plays and when they play the Huskers in round one, they'll have multiple thousands of fans at the Stan Sheriff Center, and oh yeah, that place most certainly will be loud. Wichita State brings their MTXE mental toughness, extra effort, and play angry approach to the islands. This is a program that has captured national headlines. They've won historically. They're winning again now. Of course, two seasons ago, they went to the Final Four in Atlanta, losing to eventual champion Louisville. They went 31-0 in the regular season last year. They ended the campaign 35-1 and champions of the Missouri Valley Conference. They had one of the best games in the tournament last year, losing a thriller to Kentucky. Now they've won before. You remember Xavier McDaniel and Antoine Carr. Well, guys that are playing now, Ron Baker and Fred Van Vliet. They're all Valley performers and they could be all American type performers too. And the Shockers will see Loyola Marymount out of the West Coast Conference. The Lions out of Los Angeles are going through another period of transition. Mike Dunlap is their first year head coach. He has NBA coaching experience. You'll remember the Lions and their fast break high point efforts to lead them to the 1990 Elite Eight under head coach Paul Westhead and stars Bo Kimball and the late Hank Gathers. So there you go. A full Diamond Head Classic tournament preview. Isn't this beautiful? Hopefully not all of this is lost in translation from us shooting it and you seeing it back in Southeast Ohio and throughout the rest of Bobcat Nation. Remember, Ohio tips off the Diamond Head Classic on Monday against George Washington. Airtime, Athens time is 2 o'clock with a tip at 2.30. It's also on ESPNU. Take a look at OhioBobcats.com and our recaps to find out when the Bobcats are playing on Tuesday and Thursday. There you go. We've got you set. The 2014 Diamond Head Classic from Honolulu. For Tanner Smith, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Happy holidays. This is Bobcat TV.